So my decision was uh, to recommend to council that they accept the report, and the report uh, indicates that I believe that Councillor Bordelin violated the Code of Conduct in terms of a couple of sections, uh, that they reprimand him, uh, and that they ask him, they request an apology to be made in council chambers, to council in council chambers. There are people who are not happy with the report, um, but I take it that that's uh, pretty minor. I, I'm, I'm not concerned about it, let me put it that way. Here is, do you plan to move forward with the judicial review? Absolutely. Uh, I'll obviously need to consult with Councillor Bordelin, but uh, I'll uh, canvass with him the prospect of moving with even greater haste, uh, given that there's a deferral with regard to when he actually has to deliver the apology and when the reprimand takes effect. You know, I, I was very disappointed. I think there's, um, in my view, in you know, getting outside the legal realm a little bit, a, a bit of political grandstanding tonight, in my view. Uh, I think the legal issue was unfortunately missed, and it really is does the, the procedural bylaw sanction what councillors can say outside of the council chamber? Is it the law in Canada and the province of Ontario that once a decision has been made by council, it can never ever be criticized by someone? I think that makes absolutely no sense. The law is fluid, the law changes. If we were still living with the law of 1892 for fear of sanction about challenging it, our society and our, you know, the things that we value most would, would, wouldn't develop. So it, it's really regrettable. I think the principle was missed. Uh, there was a lot of uh, rhetoric. There was a lot of hyperbole, frankly, that had absolutely nothing to do with what it was that was at issue. And the key issue is effectively uh, this was an instance where uh, uh, I believe Councillor Bordelin is being unfairly railroaded uh, by this process without a chance to go to court and seek a judicial determination and that's really an injustice.